Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're continuing our little series of doing challenge problems on Sundays. So by challenge problems, what we mean is just the upper level multiple choice questions on both the calc and the no calc. So the upper level multiple choice, those tend to be questions like 11 to 15 for the no calc and 25 to 30 typically for the calc. Obviously it's not perfect, but that tends to be the more challenging questions. So today we're going to be working on average problems. So we're going to be doing one that's a little bit more algebraic and one that's a little bit more intuitive, I would call it. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into today's video. All right. So for 29, it's an average question. They tell us that X is the average, meaning the mean of M and 9. So that means that we can represent X as being m plus 9, and an average is always the terms added up on top divided by the number of terms. So let's just write down that general formula. So the average is sum of terms over the number of terms. So we just represented x. Let's continue and represent y. So they tell us y is the average of 2m and 15. So y is equal to 2m plus 15. And again, there are two terms there, so we divide by 2. And then let's represent z. So z is the average of 3m and 18, also two terms, so divided by 2. So now they want to know what the averages of x, y, and z in terms of m. So if they want us to represent it in terms of m, we want to realize that m is in what x, y, and z are equal to. So we're going to then want to add everything that I am bracketing right now in orange. We're going to want to add all of these together so we can represent it in terms of m. So again, we're just going to keep in mind what the average formula is and stay true or consistent to that. Let's be in green. So we know then that the average of x, y, and z is just going to be the average of what x, y, and z are equal to. So m plus 9 plus 2m plus 15 plus 3m plus 18. So we could see that we're getting the m plus 9 from x, the 2m plus 15 from y, and 3m plus 18 from z. So this is going to be the average that we're talking about. Let me just write average is equal to. And then we're going to divide that again by the number of terms that we have. So now that we added all of these, which are each comprised of two terms, we're going to divide by six because we have six total terms. So let's combine all of the like terms on the top. So we have an M, a 2M, and a 3M. So that adds to 6M on the top. 9 plus 15, let's see, that's going to give us 24, plus 18 is going to give us 42, divided by 6, and now we can use the heart method here to simplify, so 6m divided by 6 is just m, 42 divided by 6 is 7, so we get m plus 7, or choice b as our final answer. All right, so now let's check out question 27 from practice test 5. So they tell us that the mean score, mean again refers to the average, the average score of eight players in a basketball game was 14.5 points. All right, so we know then again that the average we said was equal to the sum of the terms over the number of terms. So let me just write that so we have that here. So we know the mean of the eight players was, was 14.5. So we know the number of terms, which here is eight. We also know what the average is, so we can plug that in to find what the sum would be. So let's go ahead and plug in that information. So we know 14.5 is equal to the sum, we don't know what that is, over eight. So we can find what the sum is for those players by just dropping this over one and then cross multiplying here. So we get that the sum is equal to 14.5 times 8 is 116. Then they tell us right here that if the highest individual score is removed, the mean score of the remaining seven players becomes 12 points, and then they ask us what was the highest score. All right, so we can then set up another equation with those numbers. 
So now we know that the average would be 12 here. We want to find what the sum is, but now we only have seven players, so seven terms. Again, drop that over one, cross multiply, we get that the sum is equal to 12 times seven, which is 84, which I already knew. Do you guys ever put in the calculator like one plus one just to confirm that? I feel like everybody does that, so that's just me. Not just me, I mean. All right, so we have that the sum originally was 116 and the sum dropped to 84 once we removed the eighth player. So all that we gotta do right now is just subtract 84 from 116 and that will tell us how many points the eighth player added. So 116 minus 84 is equal to 32 points. So that gives us choice C. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, leave a big thumbs up, and if there are any challenge problems from a practice test, you can definitely drop those below, and I will try to accommodate whatever requests you might have for our future Sunday challenge problem videos. Also, please note, guys, all of our crash course links and the link to our SAT math workbook, all of those are in the description below. And lastly, make sure to follow me on TikTok. Test Prep Tips is my username on there for daily content, and I go live a bunch as well. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have an awesome day.